Today we are looking at the Safola SF530 action camera. Before we start, if you find the video helpful, leave a like. Any questions, ask me in the comment section down below and subscribe for more reviews. So now let's have a look around the box. So this is just front here, it's got the camera, just the name. Look on the back here, just some specs. So now let's take a look inside the box. This is everything what come inside the box. You've got your accessories, camera, two batteries and user manual. Let's have a quick flick through the user manual. So these are your specifications. You can pause on here if you want. So it comes with a lot of accessories. I don't know what a lot of them are, but I know this is the remote which if you want to take a photo you press this button if you want to take a video press that button you've got the extra door here which will record your audio as it has these two cutouts then you've got your two batteries your charging port for your batteries this is the way you'd use to plug it in and lastly this is your bike mount to attach to your handlebars so now let's have a look at the camera so it comes in this waterproof case which all buttons are still functioning let's have a look in at the actual camera now so now we have the front of the camera which we have a 170 degree field of view lens we have the front screen look underneath here we've got the battery trap door which if you slide this open that's where the battery would sit then if you look on the side here you've got your up arrow button and your down arrow button and your built-in speaker look on top we have our power on off button and mode button and our shutter key on this side we have our micro sd card port our micro usb port and our hd out port and just underneath we have a built-in microphone so now let's have a look at the settings inside the camera so if i just power it on here it's turned on so that my language english the date not going to worry about that time as well format card yes it's format completed setup complete so here we have the camera it is in 4k 30 frames per second let's have a look at some of the settings so here we have video resolution let's click on that so as you can see it does record up to 4k 60 frames per second which i will be selecting i think i selected it yep but it does have many other ones such as 4k 30 frames 2.7k 60 frames and many more 1080p 120 frames 1080p 60 frames and many more image stabilization which is your EIS keep that off for now voice record on you got your wind noise reduction auto low light EV metering date stamp date and time then if you go on settings here you have your sounds so i'm not sure if you can hear but there is a chime going on right now well a beep which whenever i press something which is on boot up you get a chime and shutter if you press the shutter key you'll probably get a noise as well angle wide angle lens medium angle lens and narrow angle lens diving mode you have your effect this is just some image some image uh, settings driving mode so if you're driving then you have your microphone which can use a built-in or external then upside down so if you're recording upside down screensaver so if you're idle auto power off same thing if you're idle power frequency white balance just some more image settings format card language date and time and system to switch to your front screen you would click your down button and hold it for three three seconds as you can see it's switched now to do the same to switch back you perform the same action and to check where your saved videos are you would press this like little play button down here and as you can see I've already recorded something just for an example but that's where you would check all your saved photos and videos to switch to your photo mode you would just swipe right and to go back you would swipe left 
Now let's have a look at the action camera in action. I am now recording in 4K 60 frames per second using the built-in microphone with EIS off. Let me know what you think down below. I am still recording in 4K 60 frames per second, still using the built-in microphone, but I have enabled EIS. Let me know if the video quality has changed down below. There you go my friends, that was the Sofolo SF530 action camera, let me know what you think. I hope this video was helpful to someone, if it was leave a like and please subscribe to watch more reviews. Thank you for watching, I will see you in the next video.